All right, uh, today's adventure, I'm going down to the Coast Guard Station. I'm gonna try some fishing. Well, the plan is the Coast Guard Station, but anybody knows any public fishing spots down here. It uh, can be slim picking, so the plan is to go to the Coast Guard Station. If it's not, then I got a couple other spots that I'll try. Uh, and then after that, my uh, weekend festivities kick off. Ashley and I are celebrating our 12 years of marriage. So I met her uh, in 06, early of 06, right before I deployed to Iraq. I was in the Marine Corps at the time and then met her and yeah, we've been together ever since. So, so yep, 12 years of marriage and I think she's at the Ocean Pine Skate Park with, uh, with one of my other kids. I have the other one and we're gonna go head down and do some fishing. It's probably her calling me now. All right, I'll see you in a little bit once we get down there. All right, we gotta make a pit stop first. We gotta drop knee pads off to mom. Why? Uh, she forgot them for William's uh, skateboard. Oh, shoot. Yup. All right, so we'll drop those off and then we'll go down to the Coast Guard station. You think we'll catch anything? Yeah. What? Like big knee fish? Pads. Sea bass, okay. A really big one. A really big one. All right, we're gonna go for sea bass then. Um, we'll stop at all tackle. We'll get some squid, and I got some sand flea, frozen one sand fleas in a bag. So we'll try those too. All right, we'll see you soon. So Nick and I were just driving by, and we noticed the garden center's gone. There's nothing left. Wow. I know that they're leasing a lot of that shopping center. Um, I think it was a divorce or something, but I didn't know that the garden center was going. That was a nice place to go. We always liked it there. So the people at All Tackle are always really nice. Nikki, show them what they gave you. Three. Three stickers. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yup. Nice. We got our spot. No one's here. It's Friday, but it's Labor Day weekend, so it's gonna get pretty busy down here. Which is why I wanted to go today instead of tomorrow. Uh, the bad news is if anyone is familiar with Big Bird Cropper, uh, the guy that he wears the yellow suspenders with the rulers on it, he's like a Ocean City like fishing celebrity legend, whatever you call it. He was just in his boat headed this way towards he's probably going over to the south jetty so if he's going over there that means there's nothing really biting but i don't know hope for the best so we're gonna throw some squid on some circle hooks and send it out and see what's biting you feel a fish yeah his rod was just going we don't know if they hung on or not nope no fish all right Lame. All right, we'll try again. You ready? Next on one. There you go. Small sea bass. Kick his ass, sea bass! There you go. Grab him right there. Watch out for his top top spines. See those little spines? Grab him right underneath. Right there. See his little spines? Yep. So grab him underneath. Yep. Yep. There you go. Go ahead, heave him. There he goes. Good catch, buddy. So these sea bass, they gotta be 12 inches to keep, and this one is only um, about uh, almost eight. So they're always a little bit short here. Uh, they have to be 12 and a half because that's how big the state says they have to be so we never really get keepers down here but it is fun just to to fish for them because there there are a lot of them I, as soon as I cast it out it uh, they hit it right away they pretty much landed in the water and then they hit it we'll see what it is back up a little yeah. yep sea bass keep going <laughs> Keep reeling, reeling up. The people are all clapping for him. Four. All right. 
Good job, buddy. <gasps> here, put your rod down. Now we can hop out. All right, here, hold it. Right there. There you go. You want to throw him back? Yeah. Maybe you can. Nick, we finished yeah. four sea bass is what we caught. I'm not gonna lie, it was like painfully slow fishing today. So um, yeah, we really had to work for that one. I started off with four aught circle hooks on high-low rigs. Uh, usually that does the trick every time, just not this time. So I switched to two aught and then I went down to ones and we were finally catching some small ones. The bigger ones always hit on the four aught, so I don't know. It's fishing, it's the way it is. So anyway, we're gonna head back. We're gonna get some lunch and I don't know, figure out what else to do for the rest of the anniversary weekend. So, all right, we'll see you later. Thanks again for watching.